Okay, so the intro may have been slightly misleading, but today we're going to be talking all about the Easter eggs in Battlefield 4. Now, not any old common Easter eggs, the big ones. So, let's kick things off with a big one, the Megalodon. Now, I think it's pretty clear by now, or at least the internet should be informed about the Megalodon, the hunt for this giant shark that supposedly lives in the deep blue seas of Parasol Storms. Now, whether or not this is true, there's a lot of hints on the map, there's a lot of dog tags pointing towards this um, massive shark. Now, even some of the hints blatantly point towards the word Megalodon, which is quite alarming, but personally, with this easter egg, I think it's just a massive rouge from DICE. Just a bit of fun to keep us entertained hunting. I think they like to see us hunting and searching for these easter eggs, these secrets on um, certain maps. But there's nothing concrete pointing towards a giant shark because I think the amount of people searching for it would have found it by now. Where can you hide a massive shark, especially in the sea? So, I think that's just a bit of fun, but are they covering up a much bigger easter egg with this kind of um, uh, rouge of a megalodon? So, that brings me nicely onto the dinosaur on Rogue Transmission. Now, before we go into too much detail about the dinosaur on Rogue Transmission, I have wanted dinosaurs for a very, very long time. I think that point is pretty clear, but what I'm about to show you, I think, proves that point. So, I hope you enjoy. So that was absolutely incredible, you could clearly hear the trees uh, being trampled, falling down and then a massive dinosaur roar. Whether or not you can actually activate that on Rogue Transmission I don't really know, but as I mentioned, where could you hide a massive dinosaur? Now I will get onto that because I have said that a fair few times and that is relevant because um, from what I found on Rogue Transmission to do with activating this easter egg. Um, there is a dead goat from Jurassic Park, which you can find in the trees behind this uh, hill by this ditch, and you can see it in a cage, whereas in Jurassic Park, um, the goat was alive. In Battlefield 4, the goat is dead, not really acting as much bait, so I don't really think that's acting as much, but we do have a button on top of a crane which, again, doesn't do much. You press it a couple of seconds later, and it makes a buzzing noise, so... Whether or not that does something, you have to maybe press it, get to somewhere. I don't really see anywhere in the near vicinity you can actually get to after you've pressed the button. You've practically got no time before it buzzes. Whether or not you have to do something before you press it is another mystery in itself. Now, the last thing which I don't know if is actually something to do with this easter egg, but I found it and I thought it was pretty interesting. So, near the button on the crane you go left um, by the wires and there's this car, which I'll show you some footage so you know exactly where it is, because it's quite hard to explain. But, I jumped on this car, the car alarm went off, as you'd uh, presume, I left it for a minute and it went off as again you would presume, but then I jumped on it again, the car alarm went off once again. For me, I didn't really think cars did that, whether or not they do that in Battlefield 4, go off multiple, multiple times. But what was interesting was, uh, I blew up the car, so now it was a car wreck, but I jumped on it and the car alarm went off. This wasn't a glitch because I did it a couple of times on different servers, so the car alarm went off after the car was destroyed, but the even more strange thing was uh, I destroyed the car again, which doesn't really make much sense, but um, whether or not that has something to do with the easter egg, I don't really know. I kind of wanted to point it out because I found that quite interesting, um, quite fascinating. Now, the real question again is, could there be a dinosaur on road transmission? Could there be a dinosaur with all these easter eggs, the hints? Uh, I don't know. but. In a live stream uh, that a DICE developer did, he pointed out there was a massive secret on Battlefield 4, the multiplayer. He didn't specify which map or what the secret was. Of course, he wouldn't do that. But what he said was, um, 
everyone on the server can hear and see this massive event or after it's activated you can see it and hear it so not only can you hear it but you can also see it so there's not just audio files as I played to you earlier but there's actually something you can see that obviously disrupts the actual game and whether or not that's a dinosaur a giant shark I really couldn't say okay so the very last thing I want to kind of talk about is the theories now this is just my opinions on the whole easter eggs thing so first of all the shark I believe there is no shark on Parasol Storm because as I mentioned I believe somebody would have found it by now and I think hints are just concealing either this dinosaur easter egg or something much much more exciting now the uh, the dinosaur I do have my doubts about the dinosaur easter egg um, with everything on road transmission there's nothing that actually points towards this dinosaur but I do want it to happen I do want to believe that there's a dinosaur on road transmission hopefully everyone else can uh, pray that it will actually happen now all of these easter eggs I believe aren't just for fun I believe DICE have actually put them in there to uh, make us believe there's something on these maps or make us believe there's something actually coming again that makes uh, perfect sense on to the next point because final stand the fifth and final DLC to Battlefield 4 there's no information about it which is quite unnerving so there's nothing about it we know nothing about this DLC but of course you could argue why not it be the third or fourth DLC well naval strike uh, or naval strike or naval pass I can't remember naval strike we'll call it is the third DLC that's all about ocean warfare naval warfare naval combat so that can't really have dinosaurs possibly a shark but not really dinosaurs to do with it dragon's teeth that's all about where the US push I believe into the urban ground um, urban warfare Chinese try and fight back it's quite good it sounds very very exciting but again dinosaurs wouldn't really fit into that so final stand the unknown classified DLC all of this points towards a dinosaur horde mode or dinosaur survival mode being in this DLC so that's pretty much it I do believe dinosaurs are coming to Battlefield 4 or at least something prehistoric is coming with that said, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section below. Do you believe a dinosaur mode is coming? Do you believe something to do with a giant megalodon or a shark is on its way? With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.